Hey guys, iDevice Help here, and today I wanted to unbox the brand new 10.5 inch display iPad Pro. Now this is gonna be replacing the last year's 9.7 inch iPad Pro with larger display, of course, better specs. If you want me to compare those two in a full video comparison, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but this iPad, I got the entry level model because I do have a lot of iPads laying around, and I just wanted to get it to share it with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here and show you it is the 64 gigabyte uh, 10.5 inch Wi-Fi only uh, you can get of course uh, four different colors you got the gold you got the silver then you got the space gray and the rose gold of course the Wi-Fi 64 gigabyte entry-level model will run you 649 bucks so 649 bucks for this one if you want to go up to 256 gigs so it's a big leap there 256 gigs will run you 749 and then 512 gigabytes for $949, the Wi-Fi model only. So you also get the cellular connectivity once if you choose. And it's about $150 more on top of that for the cellular connection. Now, this iPad does offer a few new things in comparison to the previous iPad, of course. The display being one of those. You'll also have uh, 600 nits, so brighter display. So let's go ahead and take a look here, put the iPad on the side and show you... Right here we have the brick. What is it? Is it a 12? Those 12 watt, you know what that looks like. Inside of here, I'm sure we have some tips and some Apple stickers as usual. Maybe, yes, Apple stickers and other stuff. And then the cable for sing and charge. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPad itself. Wow, for some reason, even though this iPad is a pound, uh, it feels a lot lighter than that. Let's go ahead and unbox it here or unwrap it. Oops. I went with this space gray. Look at that. Touch ID is going to be the second generation Touch ID, so thank God we got a second generation. Front facing camera is a 7 megapixel. The rear facing camera is going to be a 12 megapixel. Uh, very similar to what we find on the previous generation. Hopefully you guys can see that. But we do have the hump there, which is annoying. I don't take a lot of pictures with the iPad anyway, but sort of annoying to see that. Look at the bezels. This is one of the things that differentiates this iPad from other iPads. Look how thin those bezels are on the sides. Not so much on the top or bottom, but on the sides. They're really thin. Of course, the smart connector right there, you see it. On the other side, we have the volume up and down that's about it on the top we have two speakers and the power button and sleep wake of course the bottom the usual two speakers and then the lightning connection this ipad does have the apple 10x chip so the apple 10x chip is going to be at this point it's like apple's bragging this thing is just crazy fast a blazing performance you're not going to lack any performance with this new ipad i'm going to go ahead and set this one up but before i do i wanted to compare it here quickly and i like i mentioned if you want a full comparison versus last year's ipad which is 9.7 inch ipad uh, let me know in the comments down below but here is a quick look at what it looks like right here it's a little bit taller okay but not by much and the display is a lot a lot bigger in my opinion 9.7 inch versus 10 and a half inch display that's a big difference for me right here you have similar things in the bottom speakers in the lightning connection you have the smart connector on both and uh, on the top headphone jack yes headphone jack a camera humps on both with flash speakers the back i really like the space gray color i really like this color it's gonna be my number one ipad from here on out i'll just keep this one also for editing and things like that because it is a power horse let me go ahead and set it up and see uh, what we're working with here in terms of software i'll be right back all right so let me go ahead and show you the bezels here let me unlock this other ipad this is the 9.7 inch display which i truly truly love it's running the uh, ios 11 beta 1 and uh, by the way it ships with ios 10 so as you see right away here ios 10 on the new hardware which is kind of funny in a way uh, but right here let's go to about and you find it comes in with ios 10.3.2 out of the box here for the ipad pro so not a biggie i mean you can always update it once ios 11 comes uh becomes available to the public but i wanted to show the bezels see the bezels Look, that is the major difference here. Now, I don't know if that's going to be an issue holding the iPad like this. I always thought that would be an issue, but it doesn't appear to be so. You see my, 
my palm is resting there on the display and also my thumb but it's still recognizing the uh, the inputs here for the touch screen. So I'm going to update this bad boy, of course, to iOS 11 beta 1. This was a very, very quick first look at the iPad Pro 2017. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think your first impressions of the latest iPad coming from Apple. It's been Night Device Help. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.